Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to another video. I was originally just going to review Claudine today, but if you guys thought yesterday was crazy where we got to see five dolls, how about seeing what Draculaura looks like new in box? Because someone in Canada, their username is caddy13noir on Instagram, started uploading pictures today of Draculaura new in box. G3 Draculaura, it's crazy. So all credits for these pictures go to them. And with that, let us begin. So here it is, the brand new G3 Draculaura found at a store in Canada. Let me check their post actually to see which store it was. They said Toy Tales, Cambridge, Ontario. So um, I'm assuming that's what ON means. I'm sorry if that's wrong. I don't really know much about Canadian geography, but um, that's where this doll was found. They claimed that they didn't find anyone else. So it was just Draculaura who was set out. Um, this is insane. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna say it. This is crazy because just yesterday we were looking at pictures of the dolls, specifically these ones, and this was where we got to see Draculaura. And compared to her prototype, which I'm assuming is this picture because they usually use prototypes for photos like this, the doll is pretty exact. Not much changed. It looks like just a bit changed through production. So unfortunately, Draculaura does not seem to have the hat, the really cute sun hat. There's a chance that another one of her dolls may feature it. Maybe they'll give her a fashion pack. But as it stands, Draculaura comes wearing this headband rather than a hat. And I have to say that's the only disappointing thing here. Everything else I'm seeing is adorable. Draculaura seems to be wearing a ring, potentially a coffin ring, on her finger. Um, she has a chubbier body type, which honestly I think is adorable. It's very cute on her. And if I see anyone being fat phobic towards this literal piece of plastic, that is pathetic and I'm going to delete your comment. So keep it to yourself. People want this representation and I think that they deserve it. This doll is really cute. I love her face. I really like her hair. Um, we can't tell what type it is because the original poster has not yet uploaded out of box photos. Um, under their picture, of the back of the box. They said that they were on their way home and are going to be posting pictures soon. So I'll try to wait it out and put those in the video, but I do feel like we have enough content to go over here. Um, the artwork is cute for Draculaura, but when it comes to the other ghouls, um, let me show you guys a close up. Like obviously no hate to whoever this artist is, but I'm not the biggest fan of this art style for Monster High. Um, Claudine doesn't look right. Frankie's face looks weird. They kind of look insane. They have a crazy look in their eyes. Um, Cleo and Laguna look fine. Draculaura looks cute as well. I'm just not the biggest fan of this art style. By the way, um, Draculaura does have a little bio. It says that her monster type is a fantastic vampire. Her monster must have is SPF 500 and cherry juice. And her monster pet is still Count Fabulous. We can see him down there. Count Fabulous did get really cutesified. He kind of looks like... You know, he kind of looks like a Sanrio, a rejected Sanrio character. <laughs> um, she comes with what looks like a little pretzel and her SPF 500, and I'm assuming that's her cherry juice and a pair of sunglasses. She also seems to have a cape, which I'm assuming is that piece next to her. Um, she has a little backpack, which is made of plastic. This isn't Haunt Couture, so we're not getting fabric bags, but I still think it's cute. The doll comes with a lot of stuff. Would I have liked to see these come with second outfits? Yes. But the stuff that they come with for 25 bucks, this is about on par with the original dolls. We do not know if these dolls come with diaries and or stands, but the package looks kind of self-explanatory. I don't think there's anywhere where they could have hidden a stand or a diary, so I'm just going to say I don't think she comes with those things. But um, these are the pictures that we have so far. Uh, they did take other photos. Let me show you guys those. We got these two close-up shots of the doll in box where we can see both of her earrings, one of which is black and one of which is pink, and her hair seems to be somewhat covering her bigger ears. Uh, we can see them here. Like in these coffin bean photos, her ears are not covered by her hair, but here they kind of are. Her rooting seems to be very nice from what we can see. But of course, I am going to wait a few minutes before finishing this video so we can discuss any out-of-box photos that the original poster, who owns this doll, wants to upload. So I wanted to compare this picture to this one. 
because I feel like the design between the dolls and the show are very drastically different, which is interesting. So I just want to bring this up real quick because I don't know when that person's going to upload the pictures of her out of box, but honestly, I don't care anymore because we've seen her. That's what I care about. So, for instance, the dress is notably less detailed in the show, which you'd think it'd be easier to add animations in detail. I mean, <laughs> I just said everything backwards. <laughs> you'd think it would be easier to add details in animation than it is to add on the doll, but the doll's outfit looks a lot better than the show outfit. The only thing I dislike is that they swapped out this gorgeous sun hat for a headband. I think I mentioned it already in the video, but this sun hat would have been so great to have on a doll, and it really sucks that we're not getting it, but who knows, maybe Draculaura will get another release or a fashion pack where I've definitely said this in the video already. <laughs> but um, just wanted to compare and contrast because the bat print doesn't seem to be present on the dress, and the dark pink top is also missing. So... It's a definite, like, difference between the doll and the show, but I have to say I prefer the doll. That's just my opinion, though. By the way, I'm impatient, so I'm just gonna keep rambling about the inbox photos. So, um, what did I want to say? I think I wanted to start zooming in on parts so we could talk about specific details, so let's do that. For instance, here we can see the doll's bodice, and we can see that she's got hearts and little bat prints all over it, and I have to say that's adorable. I also really like her bow because it kind of has like a bat wing look to it. I don't like that the heart on her cheek is black now. I always liked when it was pink, but I think it's cute. It's not bad. She also has hearts in her eyes, as we can see, which is so adorable. There's a lot of details being put into these dolls, and we can see them because this is a close-up shot. Um, can't see as much over here, but we can see more of the bat wing on the bow, the bat wing look on her bow, and I think that's really cute. Here's a close-up on the bottom of the box, and Claudine's artwork is so... I don't like it. But Dracula's is cute, so is Laguna's. And Count Fabulous seems to be purple in the artwork, but he seems to be black. Like he's always been, so... I don't know, maybe it's a dark purple, like a midnight purple? No idea. But on the bottom of the box, we can see a lot of little Draculaura-themed things, such as lips with vampire fangs, little hearts with bat wings. Looks like her shoes. Her shoes are really cute. It's a heart with bat wings for the part, for the strap, and then they're just pink heels. And I know a lot of people have been saying that the boots and the heels and everything that they've made for the, these dolls have been less detailed, less interesting. And I agree, they're a bit basic, but I do still think that they're cute. Like, these shoes are cute. Draculaura would definitely wear something more intricate in G1, but this is G3, so I guess the footwear is not as detailed as before. Still cute, though. Um, she seems to have a little bit of a trim going on around her socks, which, again, detail. It's nice. Her backpack is pretty cute. I wish it had been fabric, but they probably couldn't afford that because this is a budget doll, or at least that's the excuse that they would give. I could see it being realistic, though. I mean, Rainbow High charges $10 a bag for those stupid blind boxes that they're doing. And people still buy them. But um, I'm not here to judge anyone. But yeah, some cute things going on just in the bottom of the box. So here's the upper half of the box, and we can see that there are little hearts all over. Are those shorts? Oh, I get her outfit now. It's kind of like one of those shirts that has like a really long part. That's kind of sheer, but then she's wearing shorts underneath. That's cute. She's wearing a ring, and there's something underneath her bow, but I can't tell what it is. I could see it here, too. It's a necklace. It's a white necklace. That's cute. Um, I'd probably add paint detail to it, ideally, but it's still cute. She also has an eye coffin with a phone case, and for once, there's actually a little thing to stick their thumbs into, it looks like, so that they can actually hold it. That was one of the things that always bugged me about Monster High eye coffins. Unless it was one of the ones that slid open and had a thing for them to put their fingers in on the back for them to actually hold it, they could never hold their phones. So I'm glad that they at least added that to the phone case. That's cute. 
I like her little cape. I'm assuming that's a cape. It might be a skirt, but it looks more like a cape. Um, I like the glasses. They seem to have a little heart shape, so that's cute. And yeah. <laughs> the details are really nice. Another thing I notice is that in the doll's artwork, I don't have a picture of it. Here I do. Um, her bangs are high enough that you can see her eyebrows, but here on the doll, they cover her eyebrows. And thank God for that, because they would have been really short bangs if they showed off her eyebrows. She's really cute. I love the side glance. I really love the hearts in her eyes. Just everything about this doll is so cute. Um, Y'all were going crazy sending me this link in my DMs. I mean this link, this picture in my DMs. You just kept sending it to me. I'm glad you guys like to hear my thoughts so much. I really like making these videos and just rambling. So yeah, that's Draculaura. I was going to wait for more pictures, but I'm probably just going to make a separate video when the pictures do come out. So... I'm impatient. Sorry. But yeah, this doll is gorgeous. She's really pretty. I can't wait to find her in stores. Who knows? Maybe Mattel will send me them. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> but um, yeah, that about does it. All credit to Caddy13Noir on Instagram, and when they post more photos, I will cover them in a video. So those are my thoughts on the doll. As you can tell, they're very positive. I like her. There's a couple little nitpicks here and there, like wishing her shoes were more detailed, but trust me, it's super minor stuff. Uh, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Once again, any fat phobic comments towards Draculaura's new body type will be deleted. I have zero tolerance for this kind of stuff, guys. It's not hard to be respectful. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video, and as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!